Welcome back everybody, moving on to the next question. So let's say we have vector x and that's equal to i plus j plus k. Vector i is 3i minus 9j and z is equal to i minus 5j plus 4k. We have to determine the vector x plus one third of the vector y plus the vector z. Now this i, this j, and this k, if you remember, these are just unit vectors on the axis. So i is just 1, 0, and 0. j would be 0, 1, and 0. It would represent the y axis. And then k represents the z axis. And they're just all unit vectors. So we can rewrite these vectors in this sort of coordinate form. So if x is i plus j plus k, what are the coefficients in front of each? Well, it's just one in front of all of them. So we know x is one, one, and one, like that. What about vector y? Well, we got three i minus nine j, so we know that the x values are three, the y values are negative nine, and then there is no k value, so the k value, or the z value here in the bracket would be zero. And then we got, 1, negative 5, and 4, right? So personally, I like to take these vectors and always put them in this sort of coordinate form. And now we have to find this, and we can just use these brackets in order to find that. So we would have vector x, so that would be 1, 1, and 1, plus one third of vector y, which would be three, negative nine, and zero, plus vector z, which would be one, negative five, and four. Right, and now notice this one third, we can multiply each of these coordinates by one over three, so we can get rid of this. One over three times three is just one, 1 over 3 times negative 9 is negative 3, and then 1 over 3 times 0 is just 0. And now all we have to do is add up all of the x values, so 1 plus 1 plus 1, that is 3. 1 minus 3 minus 5, so 1 minus 3 is negative 2, minus 5 is negative 7. And then the z coordinates, 1 plus 0 plus 4, that would give us 5. So this here represents vector x plus one third of vector y plus vector z. That is in coordinate form. And if you want to take this coordinate form and represent it as coordinate unit vectors, you can do that as well. So we would write 3i minus 7j plus 5. And then another way you could have done this is you could have just plugged in these values here and you would have ended up with this. I just don't like to continually write these arrows on top of i, j, and k, right? So I like to put it in coordinate form first, do it like that. And then if anything, I could convert it at the end like I did there. But yeah, that is the final answer, either this or that.